lovely people. It is Friday. I don't even know the date. It's March something, but it is currently 8, 12 in the morning. I just left Honda, getting my oil change, and come to find out I got a whole bunch of other stuff wrong with the car. Y'all. <laughs> But I'm actually going to discount tire right now because I have a nail in my tire apparently and I haven't been driving my car. My dad has been driving my car so I'm going to have him pay for all this stuff that's wrong with it because I'm not doing it. But yeah, I didn't even say hi and who I am and subscribe and none of that. But if you are new here, my name is Jay. If you aren't new, hey girl, hey, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you are subscribed or whatever. But, but yeah, like I said, I'm on my way to Discount Tire right now to um, see about getting this tire fixed real quick. And I need a quote on some new tires because I know the tires that are on my car currently are discontinued. So they're not going to do any more tire rotations on it. Something like that he told me last time. I was supposed to be heading to Target right now if this tire situation wasn't, you know, what it is. I should have been heading to Target, Home Goods, and then I also have a doctor's appointment um, to see my OB, just an annual checkup or whatever, and then I was gonna go to Ikea. So the order of my to-do list has changed, <sighs> but it's okay. Um, I'm in no rush to do any of these things besides get to my appointment at 10 o'clock, and we have two hours or so, so. I should be okay but depending on how long this discount says that they're gonna take I probably would just leave and head to Target and do what I got to do there but yeah y'all come along for the ride come along for the ride so I went and got my tire fixed that was a whole issue y'all I'm I was so pissed off because there was hardly anybody up there at discount and the guy was like oh you're next in line after this truck it shouldn't be no more than like 30 minutes why did i hope a whole hour pass four other cars came and went and my car is still sitting out there so i had to go in there and say something i really had to give them a little piece of my mind a little attitude a little bit and then i also asked for a tire rotation and they didn't even do the tire rotation so if i didn't get a tire rotation i'm sitting there for an hour just for you to fix um the nail in the tire and that's it when four other cars came and went like y'all was so mad i had left the camera in the car i was just i was over it just left my doctor's appointment uh i hate going to the ob sometimes because it just makes me feel so uncomfortable leaving there and it just makes me feel like a whole different another level of like I don't know how to explain it. I don't know why I want to cry right now, but. Yeah, y'all, so I'm gonna go to Target now and I need to get something to eat. Um, and then I wanna go to Ikea, but I don't think I'm gonna go to Ikea. I think I'm just gonna go home and get in the bed. <laughs> Y'all, they have the bookshelf I came for. <gasps> and they have, okay, they have one. Let's see one, now I gotta go get a cart. Oh my God, hold on. All right, y'all, so I left the camera in the car because I just knew they weren't gonna have these bookshelves because online it says they didn't have them, but they actually do. So I had to go back and get a cart. So I can get the bookshelf so I can start my um, closet, my shoe closet. So, yeah. Like here, um, what do you think is best? Can you help us? Yeah, what do you need help with? Put your head in the car. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is there another one? 
money? Um, there should be a one in the bag. How many do you need? Um, three. Three? Yeah. Like three more? No, just two more. Uh, two more. Yeah, okay, got three it. Three in total. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go. Yay. This just made my day. <laughs> y'all, it's so hot right now. But y'all, I'm just leaving Target. Just got out of Target and online, I came here to get those bookshelves, y'all. And online, a couple days ago, said that they had like three in stock, right? And so, hold on, I gotta turn on this air. It's hot. And so, um, last night I checked because I'm like, oh, they're not gonna be there by Friday because this was like Wednesday when I checked. And sure enough, last night I checked and it said none available in the store. At this store, it said it was available three days ago. So I was like, let me just go in here and just look. I'm already having a ugh day. I, I know they're not gonna be in here. You know, just doubting. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can hear me. But I go in there, I'm looking around. I was looking for like a Morphe um, eye, eyebrow pencil, but they didn't have it. They have Morphe products in there, just not the brow pencil. So I was like, let me just go look at this furniture and see if they have these bookshelves. Y'all, I seen one bookshelf. And I was like, oh man, I gotta go get a cart. So I ended up going to get a cart. Then the girl, there was a girl coming down the aisle. She's like, do you need help? And I was like, I think I might because it's a little heavy. And so then, I'm gonna just call them angels. So she was the first angel. And then there was another angel that came down the aisle. He was a guy and she's like, can you help us put this in the cart? And he was like, yeah, sure. So he put it in the cart. And then I was looking to see if there was any more white ones because I needed white. He's like, oh, there's probably some in the back. I'll go check. So I was like, okay, cool. So I went around and looked at the Legos or whatever, looked at the little games or whatever. And I was like, he's taking a long time. I might have to just leave because he probably forgot about me. So then next thing you know, the first angel, she came back. She's like, oh, he's on his way. And I'm like, what, he found some? And she's like, yeah, he did. And so she walked off and then he's coming around the corner with one of those big push thingy things, this uh, big stroller things or whatever. Not a stroller, but you know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what they're called. A little flatbed type of cart type of thing. And he had two more on his cart and I'm like, oh my goodness. I needed three and I got three. And then he was like, um, are you done shopping? And I was like, yes, this is what I came here for. And online it said they didn't have it, right? And so he was like, okay, I'll take you to the front. He checked me out himself. And then I'm like, well, do you think somebody can help me put these in the car? Because, I mean, I can't put all these in the car. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it for you. It's no problem. And I'm like, what? Because I actually didn't think they can, like, leave the store like that if they're not, like, doing the pickup orders or whatever. I don't know. I just... I just didn't think they were able to do it. I don't know why. But he ended up putting all three of them in the trunk. I was like, is there a survey or something that I can do for you? He's like, no, don't worry about it. And I was just like, oh my God, you have no idea. This literally made my day because I was literally feeling so just uh, uneasy and just, you know, all over the place in my mind. But yeah, y'all, I was going to go to Ikea but I don't need to go to Ikea. I got what I needed for today. I'll go to Ikea another day. And I need to go to um, get my dress altered for my uncle's birthday party. Which is next week. Oh my god, it's next week. Is it next week? No, it's two weeks from now. So, um, and I need to eat. Yay! I'm so happy. And shout out to my sister. She gave me a gift card to buy the bookcases. And um, I'm just so happy and grateful and thankful. Oh, this pollen out here is getting on my nerves. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But I'm thinking about going to Chick-fil-A, treat myself to some Chick-fil-A real quick, and then head back to my area, and I need to go get these alterations done. So, yeah. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Hey y'all. 
Sorry I didn't come back to you guys yesterday. It's actually the next day. Um, after I left Target, I went to Chick-fil-A and got me a salad. It was so good. And then after that, I went to my mom's house just to, um, you know, chill for a minute until the alteration place opened up. And then I went there and I should have brought my camera in there. I wasn't even thinking. I was just trying to hurry up and get in and get out. But she is so sweet. She remembered me from like June. We were just talking about like her social media, how she's like still learning TikTok and reels and stuff like that. But yeah, she always has like great conversation every time I go. So yeah, I had to get my dress altered for my uncle's 70th birthday. And after that, I came home and I was on the phone pretty much all day. And then I had allergies bad. Eyes was itching, I kept sneezing. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not picking up the camera anymore. <laughs> But I did end up going on a date um, with this guy that I met last week at my sister's co-worker's birthday party. He's a Leo, y'all, and I've been looking for a Leo for a long time. But he's mad young, and I, I just don't know. And he has, like, a past where he was in a, a marriage, and now he's divorced. He has kids. So I just, I don't know if I want to deal with that. But yeah, it, it was nice catching up with a Leo, y'all. It was really nice. We have a lot in common like sports teams like music like everything is we're literally the same person pretty much but like i said i don't know about me continuing to talk to him because the age difference and then just just the past i just can't deal with that situation but anyway it's the next day my dad ended up calling me early this morning y'all like crack of dawn Talking about come get your stuff from the garage because he wanted to clean the garage. So I had to like rush over there because the way he said it kind of was like an attitude. Like come get your stuff, <laughs> get it out my garage. So I ended up going over there at like 9.30 this morning and then basically helping them clean out their garage. And they helped me put the totes and stuff in my car. We loaded up the truck and brought everything over here. So I literally have totes everywhere in my house and i didn't want to do it like that because it's very overwhelming to see that many totes that i know i have to go through i really wanted to just go through it like day by day take my time but i feel like i'm being rushed because stuff is everywhere and i cannot function when stuff is like that and like i said it's still overwhelming that you know i have all the stuff that i have to go through and unpack but right now, me and my sister are currently building my shoe shelf or shoe, yeah, like shoe shelf with the bookshelves that I got from Target yesterday. We already built two and I told her I was just going to save um, the last one for you guys. We should have really recorded it the first time, but we know what we're doing now, so it should go by pretty fast. But we're in there listening to Kiki's um, podcast. Like she be talking about Amy and everything for real. She's cool. I love Kiki. But anyway, I'm going to just go ahead and show you all how we build this shelf. Let me go actually show you the shelves that we already built. Hold on. All right, y'all. So here are two of the shelves. It only has like one, two, three. It only has how many shelves? Four? I thought it was five. Four. The fifth one is the bottom. Oh, so yeah. So it only has four shelves. One of the shelves from this one we used over here so I can start doing the shoes. And then we have one more shelf. And I'm going to steal a shelf from there to put here. And then I'm going to have to end up buying another um, bookshelf. So I'll have four in total. But this is what it looks like so far. Yeah. How you feel, sis? It looks okay. <laughs> I wish we had more shelves. I know. But yeah, y'all, so we are just going to go ahead and finish up this last one so we can relax, eat, and chill. You feel me? So, you know, I don't know who that is. Y'all, ever since moving back over here, there's been so many new folks. I think that's a girl. There's been so many new folks <laughs> over here, so many kids. Like, mm -mm, it's the ghetto now. It's real ghetto. But anyway, go ahead and watch us build this show. Who brought this up here? He did. Um. <laughs> Be careful. It's heavy. I know it is. <laughs> oh my god.
look at her. Huh. Look at her mama, man. Look at her. Huh. That ain't my, that ain't my, that ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with her. Hey. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Yeah. Say you gotta work from three to nine. Oh. I get you home by a decent time. Wait, your bed, you can sleep in mine. Yeah, let's make it happen, girl. I need some time. Speaking of time, who stopped it? That's the feeling that I get when we lock lips. I got the weed at the crib and the liquor too. I f your soul, I release in your spiritual. I be your muse, bring your easel and pencils. So here you go, you try to tease with them pictures. You could ride on me just like you ride the elliptical. She said, I'm trying to keep it tight for my nigga. Girl, I like your last nigga. All I need is mental. You know, I'll work you out, get you right with your physical. Always just another interlude. Asking all them questions, girl, you know I don't do interviews It's pitiful that when I'm with them other bitches, I pretend it's you Oh, you work at Coles, you in dental school Wife and I, you fuck with clothes, cooking dinner too Young Tiller, girl, I'm known as Pim Griffey too It's only right that I swing by and hit it too First base, second base, third base I'm trying to get you in your birthday Oh I know these other niggas thirsty, but please never entertain them, cause that would hurt me, you feel me? Yeah. I know you feel me, oh, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Huh. Girl, I know you feel me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. So much to live for, too, baby. Let's not rush into it now. Let's not rush into it. When we get to it, we can give it all. Tell me, I see the kid get older. Forever gang, I'm never switching over. Made a lane and niggas can't get over. I can't mess with rappers, they be bogey. Rather get the pack and keep the hope. Big dripper, stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get open. He ain't pokey, yeah, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket off from ocean. Shout out, switch and sweet and keep me rolling. But if we get the out, we got us over. Ryan, Ryan, we're dressed up. Are we over, yo? Got some rats and I was smoke. Still got a pass in the hood, call it even go. Keep a nigga, man, bitch in a fickle folk. Let me fuck when I want, I just come and go. Man, these rats get too deep for these skinny clothes. I might put me in him in some bitch or both. Man, look, bro, he just think that's like getting low. I spent time on the rats on the limbo. It didn't even know how to move them up for the goat. On my birthday, I just want to look. Okay, y'all. So it is actually the next day from when I seen you from building those shelves. I was supposed to come back here and talk to y'all today. Like earlier today, it's literally about to be nine o'clock. <laughs> I need to take this makeup off. I need to go to my mama house and cook, not cook, but get something to eat. I'm trying to rush. <laughs> Let me stop rushing. But I'm just going to close out the vlog here. I wanted to come back yesterday or earlier today and show you the pot set that I got. And unbox it with you guys i'm still gonna unbox it with y'all i'm just not gonna do it with a full face of makeup on okay i'll probably unbox this tomorrow after work with no makeup on looking bummy and i didn't want to leave y'all off on that kind of note you know what i'm saying so yeah this is the carrot it says i think it's it pronounced carrot it's c-a-r-o-t-e it says it's inspired by nature I don't know too much about it because I ain't opened it up yet. I just seen it on Amazon and I knew I wanted it. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave y'all off with the unboxing of my new pot set by Carrot. And I'm also going to leave y'all off with my first dinner in the house with this set. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video, the vlog, all of that good stuff. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, y'all, I will see y'all in the next video, next video. All right, y'all. Bye.
Get you 